and a disco moon. My outfit for today is this gorgeously warm jumper or sweater and it's hand knitted as well. I'm blurring out a little bit so do excuse me if I step in back to show it. Yeah, so step back a bit more. I'm blurring, aren't I? I'm blurring into the background. Oh well. Can't be helped. <laughs> it is cold outside and I need to wear a jumper. Especially this one, because it goes so well with what I'm wearing. At the bottom half of me. And it is, I don't know what the word is for it. It just feels amazing. It looks amazing. And yeah, this is what we can do with garments that already, already exist. We can make them into another garment, such as a skirt, because what I'm wearing used to be a pair of pants and now they are a skirt. So I'm wearing with this lovely cable knit, hand knitted jumper. Oh, gorgeous, you can tell it's hand knitted. I just like, I found this in the charity shop and um, I just like finding, whenever I see something, it looks so it's hand knitted, it's coming home with me because the talent and the talent has gone into this. Oh, but it goes so well with my skirt. Oh, these used to be a pair of oversized pants and now it is a skirt and you can't even tell that it used to be a pair of pants. It's gorgeous. So it's got a slit at the front, it's got it basically at the back. And yeah, I just love it. I'm going to team with another project that I did. Was it this year? I think it's early this year or towards the end of last year. I can't remember. Let me know if you if you remember. Which is and this used to be a skirt, an oversized clutch, and that's that's blurring out too. I do, do apologise. There we go. That's more or less a true colour, and so is that for the jumper as well. So it's is oversized, and like I said, it used to be a skirt. I will definitely link these two tutorials in the description below. Do go and check them out because they are amazing. So yes, yeah, so this is how I'm going to be carrying it. It's quite a large one. It's quite a large bag to actually fill. <laughs> it really is. And so what I usually do, what I start to do is to put a bag inside. So I've got my black velvet bag that you've seen lots and lots of times. I just hold all my other bits and pieces, my important bits and pieces in my bag. But I just love this bag. It's just, oh, oh I need to be a skirt. Who would have known? And I'm going to team it with these gloves. So I'm in black and cream today. Oh, my jewel, let me show you my jewelry. So I've got my cup on earrings. I've been asked a few times, um, are my ears pierced? No, they're not. They used to be when I was a teenager, but no, I prefer clip-ons are oh, my best friends. So these are clip-ons. And I'm wearing some bangles. And then I'm going to finish off my look with this black fur scarf, which you've seen a, few, a good few times. Like so, let me just check this mirror. And Colleen, I must say girl. Yes, <laughs> do go and check out these tutorials because they are amazing, they really are. So I'll show you the bottom half of me. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about DIY fashion. Midweek on a Wednesday, I do a tutorial where I show you a garment that I am going to be upcycling. Upcycling fashion. It's all about sustainability. We all have to think about 
fashion in these particular times. So if you are into that sort of thing and you're looking to change your wardrobe and you want to incorporate some upcycle projects, then this is the channel to be. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm also on the Patreon platform. Click the, um, in the description, there will be a link, you know, for you to click and come and visit me. So don't forget to do that. And let's get into the video. I'm in disco mood. <laughs> Bear with me, home moment. I'm just kidding. Um, the sun has been shining since I got up this morning. <laughs> and it's still shining. Um, I think it's going to be like this all day. Say it's, uh, why do I always talk about the weather? I think that's what we Brits do a lot of. We're very, <laughs> we're very aware of the weather, we Brits. Anyway, my outfit for today. Yes, I'm back in lilac. So I've got a lilac jumper which has got speckles of purple and pink and blue. Not really purple, I think it's just with the buttons out there. I wasn't too sure about the buttons, but yeah, they're growing on me, I do like it. So what I have done is tilted it off one shoulder for the asymmetrical look, because you know that is what I like. And um, it's a purple cami that I've got underneath. And I'm wearing it with these gorgeous sequin pants, which are lilac and also, I suppose, pinky purple colour. Um, so it just fits in with the theme that I'm trying to do this month. Um, show you the items I have that are the very peri or the lilac colours. Don't have a lot so every day there won't be a, a, an outfit that's going to be lilac because that means about 20 odd outfits which I don't have 20 odd items of lilac. At least I don't think so. No, I don't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing it with these pants. This is the first time I'm wearing these actually. And they feel okay. I've had them on for about an hour or so. I'm just trying to decide what footwear to wear. I'll tell the reason why in a minute. But they fit well. And it's a very dressed down look with what I'm doing with the cardigan. And I've also created that asymmetrical look to the cardigan with that half tuck situation. I think it's really good and I've captured it with the glitz and glamour that's in the pants with silver ear silver earrings and the bracelet. Um, so yes yeah, so I'll bring you down and explain my footwear to you. So as you can see they are super long look they're just so long and I'm not sure whether you're supposed to hem them which is highly unlikely. Um, I can't imagine people wanting to buy this and you know, people who are not into sewing. But I love the fact that it's super long and it kind of sits on the floor the way that it does. It's, it's, it's nice, but I think you do have to be careful when you're actually walking. So um, the shoes that I was going to go for were going to be these ones that I've worn already these lilac ones and I decided not to because it, it, it was just there was just too much fabric on the floor so I decided to go for my, my platforms <laughs> and that, they, were, they are a block heel kind of platform there's a, little, a bit of lilac there purple and lilac or pinky lilac and that feels a lot better I feel a lot safer wearing it with these footwear but yeah I feel it feels okay I like the sound can you hear the sound I'm exaggerating my walk here but I love the sound anyway so I'm going to be teaming it with this bag the lilac bag which goes and yeah that's my outfit for today. Yes, I'm in Perry, very Perry today. Yeah, with accessories and this cardigan. So I am wearing a refashioned denim 
jeans, pants, into a skirt. And I love it. I'm wearing it back to run at the moment. Um, yeah, I didn't think I'd ever make a pair of, no, make a skirt on a pair of jeans. I always, whenever I go to the charity shop, I'd always look out for jeans styled skirt and now that I've made one <laughs> I'm tempted to make another um, yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with the outcome of this and yeah I, I, I do like it I will definitely be wearing it quite a lot during the summer and I've got to thank a, a, a subscriber as well because it was her that inspired me to do this otherwise I don't think I would have, it would have been part of my plan on my checklist to actually do so yes and like I said I'm wearing it back to front so I've got the patch pockets at the front and the hip pockets at the side which is kind of cool it really is kind of cool to have pockets like this at the side I must design a pair of pants that way yeah um, I'll just quickly turn around and show you I'll bring the camera down in a moment um, the top is also a, 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 it's a very basic refashion it's based on my wrap blouse men's shirts that I do um, but I didn't like the fact that this buttoned all the way down it was just too plain and ordinary so I like the crossover effect and I think it balances out with the elastication on the waistline of these pants and I put the belt on there to just give it a different look yeah and a bit more because it looks it looks okay without it but it, it needed something you know when someone just needs something just to finish it off well that's what the belt is doing so and I've got a scarf on that I've just wrapped around my neck there's no colours of purple or lilac or very peri that's in there but I think it just adds a, a, another dimension with this kind of Paisley print that's on there. So tones of browns and, and a bit of orange. So I am going to be wearing gloves today. I bet you can guess what color they're going to be, don't you? Yes, I know you can. <laughs> You've seen them before. Purple gloves. So that ties in with the belt. And I'm going to sport my recent bag purchase, which is Gorgeous little lilac bag. It goes, yeah, it goes well. It goes well with it. And I'm wearing lilac shoes and I wore these last week as well. So yeah, that's my outfit for today and I'll bring you down so you can see the bottom half of me. motivating and sharing ideas for upcycled fashion if you're into that sort of thing it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel not only that I'm on the patreon platform where there are three different levels check the description and I hope to see you there let's get back to the video glitz and glamour for Thursday this is actually lilac, this sparkly top. I think it's coming up lilac, isn't it? It's not too silvery, but it is, it is, it is, it is actually lilac colour. I'm wearing it with a man shirt, which is lilac and it's got purple print on it. And I'm wearing this back to front. This top is actually <laughs> back to front, but it gives the illusion of a tie, which I love. That is so nice. It feels comfortable even though it's back to front as well. Um, I've got the cuffs half turned, so the cuffs is grey on the inside and I've just turned it just slightly. I haven't turned it all the way. Silver jewellery um, and for accessories I've got my lilac shoes and also I'm meant to be wearing my lilac bag with this as well. I was going to go for another bag but I've decided to go with the lilac. I'll show you the best 
another time. <laughs> um, so I'm wearing it with lilac jeans that are sitting on my hips and they are uh, oversized and I've got large turn-ups. The bag that I'm going to go for is this one because I'm trying to stick with that theme of the very peri look. I don't know whether I should carry it with because I haven't worn it with this strap. I've always carried it in my hand. Um, I don't know whether, because this can be a bit too much, isn't it? And the sun isn't shining today, um, but it's, it's, it's nice, it's a, it's a warm weather. It's, it's not bad, it's getting there. <laughs> the warm weather is coming. Um, so I may just break it up a little bit and put it across the body. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that. Let me just put this across the body see what it looks like. And because I'm in this very smart, casual look, which is the other way. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's because I'm right-handed. Yeah, I think I like that. It just breaks it, it just breaks up the, you know, the, the shine, the glitz and glamour that is part of this top and just kind of makes it a bit more oh, that, that really does go well. I do like that. I must wear this more often. These two together. That looks gorgeous. Anyway, let me bring you down so you can see the bottom half of me. in knits, so knitted jumper, obviously as you can see it's lilac, and knitted skirt, and that is white. So, and keeping with the theme of the very peri, lilac, lavender colour, which is the colour for this year, 2022, according to Panto. Um, so giving it a little bit of my own personality, and something that you consider you can consider when you are following a trend. So, breaking up a little bit, I'm wearing this paisley scarf. I wore it a couple of days ago, um, and there's earth tones that are in there, but there's still a little bit of lilac as well. So I've picked those out in order of to incorporate my footwear and also my jewelry brown tones and the brown tones in my shoes as well as purple and that's a bit of light looking away so yes yeah, so that's my outfit for today and I'm going to finish off my look by wearing gloves purple gloves I'm gonna have to keep a lookout for lilac gloves whenever I'm in the charity shop because as you know I shop charity for most of my items that I need to add to my wardrobe now. You know, we have to, it's something we have to consider and think about. Um, yesterday, I was going to pair my outfit with a different bag. I'm gonna show you that bag now. It was going to be this purple sequin bag. But some of the sequins have fallen off, so I'm gonna have to sew them on, so. Yeah, weekend project. Um, it would have gone well with this, so I'm going to go with yeah, the very peri bag. Yeah, I'm gonna call this the very yeah. So I'll call this the very peri bag because I bought it. For, I bought it for that reason. I don't think I would have bought this bag if I wasn't going to be sharing what I'm sharing with you. It's a cute bag. I love the shape, love the structure. Um, but yes, it's my very peri bag. And yeah, I'm going to wear it cross body. Like so. Yeah, that's okay. Yes, so I'm going to show you the bottom half of me. And, and obviously a clip of me 
from head to toe. As you can see, I am wearing my platforms. These are about the highest that I will go as far as platforms are concerned, I'm sure. So another week, and that's my outfits for this week. Um, next week, yeah, I'll still be incorporating some pieces of the very peri, the lilac, the lavender colour. Um, I'm getting a bit thin, I'll admit that. I don't have that many pieces, but I think I'm doing well up to now. Um, showing you how I can, how you can wear that particular colour and also incorporate your own personal aesthetic, your own personal style as well, if you are a person that wants to follow any particular trend it doesn't have to necessarily be the lilac trend so with that said i hope you do like this video and i hope you do like my um videos where i show you how i team my refashioned garments with garments that i have designed pattern drafted and so on